schedule and below budget. And uh, the other thing I want to talk about is the summary uh, uh, judgment that occurred last Wednesday. Uh, as a lay person sitting in the audience, I was, uh, should I say, uh, taken aback by a certain latitude that was granted to the county's position. And uh, for example, when uh, the Commonwealth uh, legal team submitted two affidavits, one from uh, Julie Pastor and Mark Kelly, uh, the former planner and uh, assistant attorney general, or attorney, county attorney. Uh, the defense objected to that, and basically the judge looked at them, and this is from the layman's point, told them to sit down and shut up, or your defense was going to be uh, overruled. Uh, I would consider that a strike one. Later, the same attorney submitted another exhibit that was unrelated and it was irrelevant to an exhibit of the zoning in Kugan. When uh, Maury Gilmore leaned over the table to take a better look at it, the judge stopped the proceedings in order to reflect in the record the reaction of the defense attorneys. And she responded by saying, as Gilmore said, that I just want to get a better look at what the exhibit was. Right, too. That, uh, then Mr. Green and then made the bold point that the town had insufficient water and sewer capacity for these annexations. And those are the annexations that occurred on August and December 2009, but for the entire UGA, and said that he could prove that the town had insufficient water and sewer for the residents of the town. Obviously, the town defense didn't have the opportunity for strike three to say anything because they had already been intimidated. As a result of this, the denying, I believe, of the occupancy permit for Woodgrove High School is in order. I also believe that it's important that you show off the water to the elementary school, Mountain View, and you shut the water off to the three other schools in town. Why? Because one, we are in a moderate drought. Two, we are under voluntary water restrictions. And three, combined, these five facilities will have the greatest impact on our water system. While you're being sued in court by the county saying you don't have enough water and sewer capacity for the entire town. You have an obligation to the citizens for their health, safety, and welfare, first and foremost, not to the county. The county, I see, has two options. They can either drop the suit or they can drop the portion of the complaint that has to be related to the water. If they want to continue the suit about what we did to Coup Gamp or did not do, or what we did and did not do to the phasing guidelines, that's fine. But when they state that they're going to prove in court that this town has insufficient utilities, then it's time to say to the county, you set the table for this banquet, Mr. Burton, now it's time to eat crow. Because the bid is over. I cannot see this town kowtowing to the county's complaint without any objection while we are being accused in court, in a circuit court. Now, you could say we might have a, an injunction filed against the town. Well, I like to see that hearing also, where the county is then saying, on one hand, well, you know, the town may have enough water for the schools, but doesn't have enough water for an annexation to a road that uses no water. I'll be pleased to sit on that injunction. Thank you for your Thank time. You. Thank you very much. Next item on the agenda is Mayor and Council comments. Dr. Wiley. 